Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. This late at night, what do we do? 2017 Contenders Football. That's what we did. We filled it up. Full 12 box break. Pick your team number lucky 13 on a Saturday. So thanks for hanging out with us on a Saturday. Jeff with that last spot, Mojo Browns. Good luck, Jeff. And good luck, everybody. At the very end of this break, there will also be a randomizer for a March Madness spot. Now, this is from a different break. So at the end of the break, I'll randomize everybody's names. And uh, the name on top will get a March Madness spot. The second name will get any and all points, win or take all the points, if there are any points. So I'll leave that right here just to remind myself of that. All right, good luck, everybody. Now remember, as I was saying on uh, off camera, off the record, off the recording, I was letting everybody know that by the time this break is done, we'll only have about half an hour left in the broadcast. So if you want to break, I would encourage everyone to... Uh, encourage everyone to start buying teams and spots now. Otherwise, we're going to run out of time very quickly after this break is over, and then we're going to be like, oh, well, I'll see you on Tuesday is what's going to happen. All right, so there's four stacks of three right there. Makes 12. Try to go a little bit more quickly on this break. So good luck, everyone. Just so I can try to build a little more time for, for you. About the combine, uh, who's been watching the combine? Is, has, has it been fun? Is there is there anything crazy going on? I don't really watch the combine that often. Who are who are the outstanding stars in the combine? I don't know. I wonder if my I, I actually haven't checked in. My my buddy who works for the NFL Network usually goes to Indianapolis for the combine. And he says it's for him anyway. He says it's not fun. He's like I gotta. He's like I gotta spend a week in uh, you know downtown Indianapolis. You know, not much ha going on down there, and just watching. You know. Watching dudes in their underwear running around and working out, basically. But it's crazy how the combine has become like over the and, and like the NFL Network actually does a really good job of this. But how how they've become they've made it a televised event, like the draft as well, now a televised event. So, and that has evolved too. You, you know, back in the day, you should be just like. You know, they'll just they'll just knock out the draft, you know, a couple analysts, people talking, you know, with the first pick, with the thirteenth pick, with the thirty second pick, and then it's done. You know, it wasn't really a thing. Now there's like all this hype leading up to it and around it and mock drafts, mock draft 1.0, 5.0, final mock drafts, being an ESP an insider for these mock drafts. All this hype happening. Is he, will he, won't he? Could he? Should he? Should they? Will they? Can't believe they. Dot, dot, dot. Now it's like a big thing. First autograph is Eddie Jackson. Rookie ticket auto for the Bears. That goes to Jeff Newton. Uh, there are, what, what, five autographs per box in this? Yeah, five autographs per box on average. We'll breeze through all of these other cards. Vet base does not ship. Rookies will ship. We'll do left-right randomizers on those, even though that's the same team. I think everybody's pretty familiar with... I think everyone in this break is pretty familiar with how we do this. So thank you again for getting into it. We've got Raheem Mostert for the Niners. That'll be for Sam Rule. Sam on the board with an autograph. And obviously, serial-numbered inserts will ship as well. Sometimes those are serial-numbered. That's serial number. There's Dalvin Cook to 199 and there's nice Obi-Wan Kenobi for my Raiders Obi Melon Fonwu that'll go to Will Bartle and my Raiders Raider Nation very excited about my Raiders this year 
new coach, John Gruden, in the house. Let's see what they I think they're going to go mostly defense in the draft, though. We've got Jordan Howard. Nice Jordan Howard on card autograph. I feel like one of the Bears are one of the later teams taken. Jeff Newton with the Bears. I like the Jordan Howard, he's pretty good. If I miss a numbered card in here, don't worry. Our shipping team, when they're when they're sorting all this stuff out, will usually go through and catch any of the ones I missed. Um, but thankfully, Panini does this. Out of 249, playoff ticket, Mike Evans for the Buccaneers. That'll be for Mr. Alex Lindsay. We'll top load all of these before they ship out. I'm just gonna sleeve them for now, just in the interest of time. It's a little bit later. We're trying to squeeze in another break on jazbeeshobbyland.com too. Breeze through these. Your next autograph, I'm sure you saw the colors. Amara Darbo, on-card autograph. Rookie ticket auto for the Seahawks. Cruise with the Seahawks. And the last bit here. And we've got Sidney Jones for the Fly Eagles Fly, Super Bowl champs. TB12. And that was box number one. So I'll do quick recaps at the end of uh, each box too. I think that'll That'll help keep track of things. Where's that pack trying to go? Good luck, everybody. So no one, no one has any. Uh, no one's been watching the combine. No draft stories. No, no, uh, no players I need to look out for. Well, let's go to uh, Walter Football then. On WalterFootball.com, it's one of my favorite mock draft websites. He does a pretty good. Uh, he does a pretty good job. I don't know how accurate he is, but I do like the simplicity of his website, and um, and he projects out many rounds. Kind of does it for the love of the game. It's kind of a an alternate look. Most sometimes an alternate look on on what uh, what the other guys do, the major pundits. Picking number one, Cleveland Browns. We talked about this yesterday, that I actually believe that the Browns are closer uh, to putting together a winning season, or at least a 500 season, a lot closer than, than people think. They've got a good defense, they've got a lot of good individuals on offense. And really, I think just getting a good quarterback, which has been really the, the curse of the Browns, just not being able to find that at least a decent quarterback, let alone a franchise quarterback, I think they should just they should just do whatever they can to get Kirk Cousins. Some uh, or a quarterback like that. Even even a Sam Bradford, maybe a Case Keenum, someone. Get that get a guy like that on the books and forget about the quarterback issue for the time being. Then that you can draft someone like, say, Saquon Barkley. Number one, which is where Walter Football currently has Saquon Barkley at number one. All right. Let's breeze through these. We've got Nazir Jones for Cruz and his Seahawks. Although, see, the difficult thing, though, is when you draft a running back, especially that high, there's Eddie Van Vanderlis as well for my Raiders out of 25. Nice championship ticket autograph for Will Bartle and my Raiders. I think the concern is, you know, how long is the playing career of, you know, a quarterback? This guy's been around for a while, right? And how long is the playing career of a running back? I think, I think it's... It's much shorter for the running backs. 
So do you use a number one pick on a running back? But maybe Saquon Barkley is the type of player. There you go, Karen. Playoff ticket, Tom Brady, 38 out of 249. This guy's been playing forever, too. He doesn't look 40. Where's his birth certificate? There you go. Um, unless you, un unless the Browns feel like there's a franchise quarterback sitting there in the draft. Or this guy. Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup. Rookie of the Year contenders out of 199. That is a strong one for the Rams. Scott V in the Rams. Eddie Lacy? See, oh, that wasn't really anything. Matt Ryan? Now the, uh, these cards are just flipped around. Trolled. Fooled. Discombobulated. We got Kirk Cousins. Oh, come on. I see how this is going to be. Oh, now there's an auto. Rookie ticket auto. Uh, we saw him before. Raheem. Uh, Mostert. It's the second one for Sam, starting his Raheem Mostert PC, whether he likes it or not. Legendary contenders, Calvin Johnson to 99. We got Jordan Leggett, rookie ticket autograph, Jordan Leggett. That goes to the Jets. Wade Jacobson with the Jets. I see how it's going to be. I see how this box is going to be. Fooling me with the flipped over, flipped around cards. Next box. Good luck, everyone. Going back to WalterFootball.com, uh, they have as their they're projecting as their number two pick. Obviously, it's really early to really be super accurate, but projecting as their number two pick, Josh Rosen, quarterback Josh Rosen, UCLA quarterback Josh Rosen, at two. Although, again, I've heard people, uh, Giants fans in this very room, tell me that you know what? I think the Giants actually like. Uh, uh, Davis Webb and have him be the bridge uh, or actually have him be the next quarterback after Eli Manning. So do they draft a quarterback or if, say, Saquon Barkley lands at two, how could they not take him? Isn't like running the running back position seems to be one of the bigger uh, bigger holes for the New York football giants. You know, they've got Good receivers. They got Evan Ingram as your tight end. Another great pass catcher. You know, Eli Manning could still probably get a few more, two, three more years out of Eli Manning. Their offensive line really, really strengthened and shored up as the season went on. But that running attack, not too much of that. Still relying on Eli to throw like 80 passes a game. 100 million passes a game. That's what it seems like anyway. Indianapolis Colts, they got Bradley Chubb, defensive end, on there in the number three spot. And then Walter Football has the Cleveland Browns taking Sam Darnold, number four. Now, obviously, if, if the Cleveland Browns take a quarterback somewhere, uh, or a free agent quarterback, that's going to change the entire draft board. So we'll wait to see what happens there. But for the hobby, anyway, if uh, for the hobby... Enjoy the the price of the Browns right now, the figure team price of the Browns right now. Because next year, if if the Browns with because they have picks one and four, if they get Saquon Barkley running back and Sam Darnold in the number four spot, the Browns pick your team prices will go up. Will be up. That's that's certain. The famous Cracked Ice, 8 out of 25, Alex Lindsay. Cracked Ice, the famous. I feel like the Buccaneers maybe took a step back last season, but including Jameis Winston, but 
They've got talent on that team. Redemption. Any guesses on that redemption, folks? Elijah Qualls. Dave Barrows. Family show Dave Barrows. I don't know if I can repeat that. I make prom night jokes. I get phone calls from parents. Elijah Qualls for the Fly Eagles Fly. Derek P. We got Terrell Pryor Sr. Another disappointing season for him. Or not another, but a disappointing season for him last year. Especially for those who drafted him in fantasy football. I think he's a free agent though. He should go back to he should go back to the Browns. Quincy Wilson autograph. M E G R guessing in Yoku or Wayne Gallman. Michael G. guessing a Jamal Williams cracked ice. Donnell Pumphrey autograph for the Fly Eagles Fly. So the Eagles getting some, uh, some love there, Derek. Remember how they won the Super Bowl? After losing Carson Wentz? After Carson Wentz went down, I said game over. I'm sure though I'm sure there's some video of me breaking around the time like the Sunday after Carson Wentz went down saying, "Yeah, they're done. Finished." There is Kareem Hunt draft class autograph. That's nice. Sweet Kareems are made of these for Michael R. Michael Ruffnack with the Chiefs. Sweet Kareems are made of these. I don't think anyone's going to disagree with that. Very nice. Three boxes down. Nine more to go. How am I doing on time? I think I'm doing pretty good on time. I'm trying to move a little bit more quickly than usual, almost to the point of rushing through this break. So I want to try to see if we can uh, have some extra time for people who want to get into the action on another break before we call it a weekend. And then we'll be back on Tuesday to do more. Um, scrolling down the uh, draft list, Denver Broncos, Walter Football is saying Quentin w uh, Nelson guard for Notre Dame. Maybe they won't take a quarterback. Maybe they're looking at free agency. Josh Allen for the New York Jets. New York Jets, another team that could, that could use a quarterback. Maybe they'll get a Kirk Cousins. And then they'll go, go something out, go with something else in the draft, the top ten pick. Minka Fitzpatrick is projected for the Buccaneers at seven. Uh, Joshua Jackson, not the actor, but the football player from Iowa, the cornerback from Iowa, Joshua Jackson for the Bears, number eight. Tremaine Edmonds from Virginia Tech, linebacker for the Niners. So a lot of defensive guys here. Uh, for my Raiders at ten, uh, Roquan Smith, linebacker from Georgia. Miami Dolphins, Denzel Ward, cornerback from Ohio State. A lot of defense. Derwin James, Deron Payne for the Red. Uh, Der Derwin James for the Bengals. Deron Payne for the Redskins. Marcus Davenport, Packers, and a couple offensive linemen for the Cardinals and the and the Ravens. Um, I want. I need more quarterbacks being drafted. More quarterbacks being drafted in the uh, in the first round. Josh Rosen, Sam Darnold, Josh John Allen, Josh Allen. And isn't there like another quarterback or two? I want all of those guys drafted in the first round. Someone will reach for another quarterback. I'll do it.
All right, good luck. Ooh, a printing plate. That plate is autographed, and it's going to the Purple Birds, Joe Howard and the Baltimore Ravens. That's Marlon Humphrey. Printing plate autograph. Nice. There you go, Joe. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Got Blake Bortles, Leonard Fournette, two out of 99. On the other side is Allen Robinson and Jalen Ramsey. They, they have faith in the Bortles, faith in Blake. Sign it. He got money. For the Bengals, Josh Malone, rookie ticket auto for Jason McGee. Another redemption. Any guesses? Larry Fitzgerald, playoff ticket. Out of 249, Scott V with the Cardinals. Got Kenny G coming up. Kenny G autograph. Nice on card auto for the Lions. That'll be going to Brian Sawyer, who has Detroit, Motor City. We got Corey Clement autograph. Nice. Corey Clement. Corey Clement. He had a nice Super Bowl. For the Eagles, Derek with the Fly Eagles Fly. So your Super Bowl champs. In fact, the Boss Man and Nick Jaspi, Mrs. Boss Man, oh, here, here are the, are, uh, are in Vegas right now to collect the Eagles winnings. All right, the redemption is, what? TJ Watt, rookie ticket autograph TJ Watt for Michael Gallucci and his Pittsburgh Steelers. Some old school Oppo Joe Mojo. From an era that I do not do not know. <laughs> but I've seen pictures. Alright. Next box. Good luck everyone. So tell me, folks, what your uh, what, what your favorite team is, and what you would like to do. What what you would like your football team to do in the draft? You know, just in general. Or if you have specific draft picks, you can let me know too. But tell me what what your team is, and what uh, and what you want them to do. Hey, Joe P. Only Joe P. doesn't like contenders. I know other people may not, but. You should get it. You should get into the break, Joe P. Thing breaks you don't like, you tend to do well in. Breaks you like, you tend not to do well in. <laughs> Obviously, I'm a Raiders guy. Um, I think the Raiders feel like they're well at the moment. They, you know, Gruden probably wait, want, wants to make a lot of big changes, but I think that uh, that John Gruden and the Raiders are relatively happy with the way the the offense is set up. But it's the defense that was the bigger disappointment last year. I think they took a took a step back. I, I think the Raiders are really going to focus on defense in the draft. Maybe maybe a, a a later round running back or something like that. They might look at that. But I think in the early rounds they're definitely going to be looking at continuing to shore up the defense. Who ha you know, the defense has good individuals. I just think they just need more depth. 
be able to pull put all that together. They need that guy to be healthy, Derek Carr. Next box, good luck everybody. So let me know your thoughts on what you want your team to do in the draft. Carlos Henderson. On card autograph for the Broncos. JKJ, Joe Cavanaugh Jr. with that one. We got Zay Jones to 99. It's 27 out of 99, rookie of the year contenders. Brad Kaya, Panthers, playoff ticket autograph, 7 out of 99. That goes to Joe Hauer and the Panthers. We've got Akella Witherspoon. No known relation to Reese. That's for the Niners and Sam. Redemption. Any guesses on that redemption? No draft talk, huh? Everyone's quiet on a Saturday night. Just me and you, Joe P. There's Quincy Wilson. There's Ben Boulware. Jordy Nelson. That's 58 out of 249. No, no, no one's alive right now? I'll give someone $2 of break credit. First person to guess it, $2 of break credit. Michael G. saying Williams. I need a full name. Jamal Williams, I'm assuming? Oh, you have the Packers. I'm assuming you think Jamal Williams. All right. Look alive, folks. Wayne Gallman says Justin McGee. Taiwan Taylor says Jeff Newton. William with Mac Hollins. See, people are alive out there. Just need to motivate them. Mac Hollins. Christopher, if Christopher C. Say comes out of here, Joe Cavanaugh, I'll give you $10 of break credit. All right, for $2 of break credit, let me open up all the rest of these packs. If Henry Owens comes out of here, Michael G., I'll give you $20 of break credit if that's the redemption. And Tuki Toussaint. 50 bucks of break credit if Tuki Toussaint is in here. <laughs> Ooh, 
Yeah, Joe Cavanaugh. On a separate note, he says, Lonzo Ball is 14 for 22 in on threes in his last five games. I am eating crow. That's right. Remember how I said, like, five months ago, Joe, where I was just like, you know what? If you get 10 assists a game, I'm okay with 20% from the field. Not okay with that. All right. No, no other guesses? Fine. It's Taiwan Taylor. Newton, two bucks of break credit coming your way. Titans, Karen. Oh, man, look at that. I didn't think that was actually going to happen. There you go. If he if no one got it, I was gonna double it to four, but back to two. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Jeff Newton. Could have been four dollars a break credit on the next redemption. All right, there you go. Titans for Karen. Nice one, Karen. He's got a great autograph. He usually signs his cards. Huh. Playoff contenders autograph. There's TJ Logan, cracked ice. Eleven out of twenty-five. Scott V with that cracked ice. Yeah, Dave Barrow says, roll that two bucks into flawless football, collegiate football at the end of the night. TJ Logan, Scott V, with that. There is another Cracked Ice, Cracked Ice Hot Box, 24 out of 25, Isaiah McKenzie, Broncos. Joe Cavanaugh Jr. with that one. JKJ with Oppo Joe Mojo. Yeah, that two bucks, Jeff Noon, will do will do some damage in that flawless collegiate break. More Witherspoon for Sam Roll, starting your Witherspoon PC as well. And another redemption. Two bucks. Guess. Another $2 of break credit being given away. Big money being given away, I know. Now you can strategize it by, by saying, hey, what if I intentionally get it wrong so Joe will double up the... All right, so Wayne Gallman, Taiwan Taylor, Matt Collins is the, the first guess. You got to get your guesses in first. So like if someone else says Matt Collins, it doesn't count. Um... Playoff ticket, Drew Brees. That's out of 249. Set that over here. Josh Reynolds for the Rams. Nice. Scott V with the Rams. The Ramley. Boss man's gonna look at the numbers and be like, "You gave away six dollars of break credit last night? It's kind of weird. <laughs> Not like sixty. It was six. Yeah, it was a redemption thing." Philip Rivers to ninety-nine MVP contenders. That'll go to Jason McGee and the Bolts. And we've got more Brad Kaya for the Panthers. Joe Hauer. 89 out of 99. Barrel's going big with a Patrick Mahomes redemption. Is he a redemption in this? Maybe he is. I, I, I honestly forget who the redemptions are. All right, it's... Michael G gets it. Rookie championship ticket variation RPS. Jamal Williams. There you go. That's his Packers and two bucks of break credit. All right. We'll add you to the ledger. Oh, and here, here's all the rest. Started off with a couple cracked ices. 
All right, halfway through. Halfway through this full case break. All right, good luck, everybody. The redemption game spices up this long break. Got a, we got a ways to go. Got a ways to go. Got, but actually, not 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 a long ways to go. About another thirty minutes or so. So we're we're making some good time in this. Once we're done, folks, it'll be a little bit after the top of the hour, and we'll be into the last hour of the broadcast. If you want to get something going, uh, really, you got to start placing orders now. So then I can see the numbers, the spot numbers go down, and then I could help push, uh, push the break. Now, if I don't see anything happening, then that might be this might be it for the night. So keep that in mind. I only see one order in right now. That is not encouraging for another break. I know this is a long kind of break, but if you want to uh, rally around another break, I got to see spots move, ladies and gentlemen because we will be in the last hour of the broadcast. And by the time I put this break away, print out some labels for this break, start closing up shop, we might be at the very end of the night already. And then we might have to say goodnight. All right, good luck. Next box. Let's see if there's another redemption. Doug Baldwin, 17 out of 249, playoff ticket card for Cruz and his Seahawks. We got Joe Williams coming up. So Sam Roll with a few Niners autograph, rookie of the year contenders out of 10. Nice. Joe Williams has a has a simple but but elegant autograph, I think. This is where you can get away with just doing two letters. One out of ten. Joe Williams. Nice looking one. For Sam. Looks like we have points coming up. 250. We'll collect all those into one lot. We'll give them away to one person in the break. All right, we've got for the Bills, Matt Milano. It goes to Cause and the Buffalo Bills. Taco Charlton for the Cowboys. That'll go to Corey and the Cowboys. We've got, what is this? Wow. I did not expect that at all. Am I reading that right? That is 13 out of 15 Legendary Contenders autograph for the Packers, Brett Favre. The Brett Favre autograph going to Michael Gabay and the Packers. Michael G. What a G. Was not expecting that at all. There's another Josh Reynolds for the Rams. Scott V with the Rams.
Oh, here are the other autographs. And this guy. <laughs> it's pretty nice. I've heard of him. What's up, Bobby? What's going on? Bobby's like, I've never. Who's that guy? Oh, I appreciate that, Michael G. That's like, that's why I choose Jaspies. Big hits. Amazing. All right. Well, turning out to be a very, very nice case. Got a couple cracked ices out of here. Got a Kareem Hunt redemption out of here. We got Brett Favre autograph out of here. This case is warming up and heating up really nicely. Still a number of boxes to go. Still only one order in my email box, which means everyone's like, we're done after this? Got to see more orders, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm just kind of being pushy right now because... It's Saturday night, it's our last night of the week together. That's where I become a little more pushy about it because it's like, hey, you know, we're not gonna, you're, you're gonna be gone for two nights. It'd be nice to do some more. Oh, thanks, Michael G. Yeah, we, we hung out with Michael G at the National in Chicago last summer, which was fun. And with Rory too, you got you two were the main guys that, that hung out with us for the longest throughout the week. That's a lot of fun. Yeah, well, I think Dave Barros wanted flawless collegiate football, I think, but I think you two already bought into spots. <laughs> you guys just need a little support. We were here pretty late last night. So. So my motivation for staying late tonight is not very high. So get, get in early and often. Get get the, Let's get another break going before we call it. Greg Olson autograph. Look at that. Joe Hauer. With the Carolina Panthers, that's strong. Brett Favre, and then Joe, and then uh, Joe with the Greg Olson. Then we have Devontae Mays for Michael G. And the Packers. There it is. Now you got the card now. Legendary Contenders insert out of 199. That is number 184 out of 199. Pretty, just 180 off the jersey number. We got Elijah Qualls for the Fly Eagles Fly. Derek with the Eagles. Playoff ticket, Alex Smith, 223 out of 249. Still Chiefs edition of Alex Smith. Uh, that'll go to Michael and the Chiefs. Michael R. Evan Ingram, on-card autograph of Evan Ingram. Very nice. That goes to Landon and the New York Football Giants. One of the, the brighter spots, the, maybe the brightest of spots for the New York Football Giants last year. In fact, when this guy went down, I picked up this guy, helped me out in my fantasy football season, kind of, at least in that position. Playoff ticket autograph, 50 out of 99, Jeremy Sprinkle for Joe Hauer and the Redskins. So I think all of your teams got at least one, Joe. Nice. Congrats. All right. Let's 
show off these again. Alright, four boxes to go. Good luck, everybody. Looks like Dave Barros really wants to do that flawless football, but I don't know if anybody's with you and Michael G. Dave? Now, the only order I see is from Brent, and that was 45 minutes ago, and that was for three spots in the Under Wraps Next Level Baseball break. I mean, that, that's, that's a pretty quick break. That's another March Madness spot right there, too. That's something we can definitely do tonight. But that's still, I think, still like 17 spots away. So we got to get it a lot closer for it to be able to break tonight. slowing down on this break here. I remember when this came out, we did we did like three or four cases a day for a few days. That gets to be pretty brutal. All right. But what I like about contenders, there's five autographs a box. So there's always, so there's always something visually, uh, something visually there, something visually stimulating to, to watch, to see to observe, to wait for, to find out. Like this, another Greg Olson. Another Greg Olson for Joe Hauer. Sell one, keep one. Grade one, sell one. Sell both. Seeing those veteran ticket autographs are pretty nice. Not too many of those per case. Uh, Jordan Willis for the Bengals, rookie ticket autograph, going to Jason McGee and the Bengals. Cat team mojo. Oh, we've got Brandon Williams, playoff ticket autograph. That is for Joe and the Purple Birds. 54 out of 99. Bright and shiny playoff ticket autograph. Kareem Hunt, Rookie of the Year contenders out of 199. Matthew R. and the Chiefs. We got playoff ticket Delaney Walker to 249 for Karen. And is that who I think it is? You see that? Deshaun Watson. Kareem Hunt, Brett Favre, Deshaun Watson, a whole slew of other great rookies in this case. Kareem Hunt redemption as well. I said that already. Wow. What a case. Will Bartle with the Houston Texans gets the on-card Deshaun Watson autograph. A couple of Greg Olson veterans in there, too. A couple of Greg Olsons. Wasn't there a Jordan Howard auto earlier? Look at this. What about a Cameron Hayward? How about this? How about them apples? Cameron Hayward for the Steelers. 152 out of 199. That is for the for Michael Gallucci. So both Michael G's hitting. Nice.
Three boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck, good luck, good luck. 15 autographs to go. So still plenty of autos to go if you have not hit yet. Still plenty of chances to get something. I only have only seen two cracked ices the entire uh, the entire uh, case. Could be more, should be more. I hope there are more. Maybe another redemption for the redemption game. Look out for that redemption, ladies and gentlemen. Who knows what kind of break credit I'm going to give away. It'll be more than $2 for the next one. So stay with me. Dave Barrow still pushing that flawless football. I, I'd, I'd like to do that too. Let's see a sh quick show of hands, ladies and gentlemen. If if I could look at the crystal ball and say, yeah, that flaws collegiate football guaranteed to break tonight. Like I looked into the crystal ball and it's going to break tonight. If I could guarantee that, how many people would buy a spot? How many, how many people would buy a team? How many teams? Plural, maybe. I know some of you already have teams, but let's get a count right now. Because if there's only like two people, then I think we have our answer. <laughs> but if, if, because a lot of people may just not want to buy a team because they're like, well, Joe, I just want to make sure it fills tonight. That's understandable. So that's why I'm trying to get a head count. Um, so let me know. And even if you already have a team, let us know what, uh, what extra teams you might want to, might want to purchase. So then we can kind of get a rough count. And then we'll see. If people want to pull the trigger after we do this break, or might as well do it now if we have if we have the numbers. There's Marshawn Lattimore, your defensive rookie of the year, rookie ticket auto. Paul would rather do prime cuts. Same question for prime cuts. Saints. That'll be for Corey K and the Saints. Or better yet, you can just uh, just place your orders and then drop the mic in the chat. And just be like, yo, I just bought X amount of teams in this break. Who's with me? There's playoff ticket autograph, Matthew, for days and days. Fifty-four out of ninety-nine for the Cleveland Browns. Who has the Jeff Newton dog pound? Last spot mojo strikes again. Any guesses on that redemption? Four dollars, five dollars a break credit. First person to guess it correctly, if anyone does. Alshon Jeffrey, playoff ticket autograph out of 249. Super Bowl champ. Fly Eagles Fly, that'll be for Derek P. The Juice, O.J. Howard on-card autograph. Alex Lindsay and the Buccaneers. Look, looks like a little a bit of the juice spilled off the spilled off the card. We already went through these. Oh, a spicy hit coming up. Jabril Peppers. Rookie ticket auto for Jabril Peppers. Nice. Another last spot mojo hit for Jeff Newton. And Jay Newton, who also has two bucks for guessing a correct redemption. And he's going with Taiwan Taylor. Michael G saying jo uh, Jamal Williams again. And 808. I don't know who, oh, I don't remember who 808 is, but I'm guessing Wayne Gallman. Sanford. Guessing uh, Corey Davis for the Titans. All right. We're over. Game over for guesses. It's going to be 
No one get. I don't think anyone guessed this. Rookie ticket, David and Yoku. Another Brown for the last spot mojo. The Browns are just sitting there. All these nice hits were there for the taking. Nobody wins on that one. All right, two boxes left. That is you, Mr. Newton. That's right. Did I say someone else? Last spot mojo, Jeff Newton with that one. They were just sitting there, Jeff. Nobody else wanted them. Nobody else wanted them. So you have to go home with all the big hits out of here. These are some nice hits out there for the Browns. It's not bad. A few, few of those autographs. I like Jabril Peppers. I feel like Jabril Peppers could be, you know, everyone says just how, how just physically gifted he is, you know, and if he can do some amazing things on the football field. <laughs> Newton says he kind of wishes it was Taiwan Taylor anyway. Well, that would have made Karen very happy. She has, she has the Titans. And you would have had five bucks of break credit in your pocket. Yoku too. I feel like I feel like he's he's another weapon for a to be determined quarterback for the Browns. They just got that quarter. They just got to get that quarterback situation in order. Resign Terrell Pryor. You know what I mean? I think Josh Gordon is some sort of restricted free agent or is a free agent. I don't know what his contract is, but you know, make sure you bring Josh Gordon back. Healthy, motivated, not getting in trouble. You know. David and Yoku there, the quarter, whatever free agent quarterback the Browns get, draft Saquon Barkley number one overall, and they've got a solid defense and depth at running back. Boom. Browns going nine and seven. Easier said than done, of course. Second to last box. Good luck, everybody. We've got. Jamal Agnew. I don't know, maybe perhaps in relation to Spiro Agnew. Going to the Lions, that'll be for Brian Sawyer. We've got Vince Beigel. Bagel? Should he open a bagel shop? Right next to Taco Charlton's Mexican food restaurant. Next to Dwayne Bacon's breakfast, br brunch spot. Breakfast spot. We've got some NFL Inc. Out of 199, 136 out of 199. That would be Thomas Rawls. That'll go to Cruz and the Seahawks. There's Zay Jones, Rookie of the Year, Contenders to 99. I think Zay Jones will be pretty solid too. And he needs a quarterback as well. So what are the Bills going to do for the QB spot? Because they're not they're certainly not going with Tyrod Taylor. There's Travis Kelsey, playoff ticket. Out of 249 for uh, Matthew R. Michael R. Sorry, check that. Oh, is this a sexy hit? I think so. Rookie roundup autograph, Kenny G. Out of 199. It's 98 out of 199. This sexy hit going to Brian Sawyer and the Lions. We've got an autograph for the Bolts, Austin Eckler. Austin Eckler, rookie ticket auto. Chargers, Jason McGee,
All right, if there's a redemption in here, 10 bucks on that redemption, if you guess it. If there's a redemption in there. We didn't get the $5 redemption last time, so 10 bucks. If there's a redemption here. Come on, redemption. Well, I'll, I'll, we'll have people actually hoping for a redemption. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. Then there'll be a couple randomizers. Uh, a left-right randomizer for those uh, round numbers cards. And then there'll be the randomizer for the uh, for with all of your names for the March Madness spot, as well as the 250 points. Second half of the box. Good luck, everyone. Thanks for getting in. This is Figure Team number 13 of Contenders Football. By the time we are done with this break, we will probably only have about 30 or 40 minutes left in the broadcast. I only see one order coming in. That was about a solid 60 minutes ago. So now what I'm being told is this signals to me, hey, Joe, go home early. We don't want to break anymore. But I know you kind of do. You have the itch. You're not going to see me for two nights, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not back until Tuesday. Now, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe you're like, oh, my wallet will thank you. <laughs> but, you know, if you have the itch, scratch now before, before we call it. Scratch now before we call it. All right, good luck, everyone. Everyone in this break. Let's finish the break big. We got Brad Kaya, okay, <laughs> rookie ticket auto. Panthers, there you go, Joe. Your Brad Kaya PC, strong. We can still end the break strong. I'll just show the other big hits again. Hassan Reddick for the Cardinals, that's for Scott V and the Redbirds. Ah, points. That'll be included right there. That'll be a winner take all on the points. Um, you know what? No, someone did tell me I forgot. Brad Kaya's mom is But so I remember someone telling me. And I was like, "Really?" And like I looked it up and everything and and I, I forgot. Maybe it was you, Jeb. Maybe you told me. Eli Manning to 199, MVP contenders. Kirk Cousins. Championship ticket. 95 out of 9. I thought it was going to be an autograph. That's right. Felicia from Friday. Right. Bye, Felicia. I think, I guess, some Mac Collins autographs are live. There it is. Mac Collins. I'm rooting for I'm rooting for Brad Kaya just just so every announcer will be will be obligated to be like, you know, Brad Kaya's mom, Felicia from Friday. You mean like Brad like bye Felicia? And like the, the color commentator would be like, like bye Felicia? And be like, yeah. So I want that to happen. Brad, get there. Become an NF become a starter. I want to see it. The Matt Collins will go to Derek P and the Fly Eagles fly. No redemption yet, so I guess I guess we'll have to hold on to that redemption game. I guess it'll we'll roll that ten dollars over to next time. 
Uh, we'll reset it to like two. Uh, Chris Carson, Cruz with the Seahawks. And last but not least, I think that actually is it. Yep, that's it. Pierre Garcon and an expired Kid Reporter card. There you have it, folks. But there's Brett Favre, Deshaun Watson, and a stack of other great hits that we pulled out of here. Let's do some randomizing. Top spot will get the March Madness spot. The second spot will get both of these points, and we'll do a left-right randomizer for any of those left-right uh, inserts that were there. We'll go to random.org, left, right. We'll go to the list, get everyone's names from Scott down to Joe. Pop them in there, and we'll randomize each list. Five and a six, 11 times. Left, right first, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11 the final time. Left side will get them. Now I know this is the same team, but there are a number of cards that have those left, right randomizers. Left side right there. And for the March Madness spot, five and a six, 11 times. Good luck, everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11th and final time. After 11 times on the randomizer, second name with 500 points, two 250s. That's pretty decent. That'll go to Will Bartle. The winner of the March Madness spot, Michael Gallucci. That's Steel Curtain in the chat. And there you have it, folks. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks for the fun times. We'll see you for the next break. Bye-bye.